Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tara and here on my channel, I teach you guys how to make homemade skincare products. So if you're new here, then you wouldn't know that I have a series catered towards beginners and the series is called Formulating Skincare Products for Beginners. So even if you're new to formulating cosmetics, you can learn exactly what you need to know to start formulating cosmetics. So I'll put a link down in my description box to the playlist with all the videos I've already done in this series. If you've seen my last video, I talked all about serums. I talked about what serums are, how to use them, and why they're so a great product to use in your skincare routine and I think it's so important to learn all about a product and what it does what its purpose is and how to use it before actually formulating that product so go watch that video if you don't really understand serums that way you can know exactly what you need to know for this video so today in this video we are gonna be talking all about how to actually gel a serum because like I talked about in my last video is serums are water-based products that have a gel like texture or maybe a light lotion like texture the only types of serums I've ever formulated are gelled serums and personally those are my favorite so like I said that's what we're going to be talking about different ingredients that you can use to gel a serum and I do want to mention that a lot of these ingredients their purpose isn't just to gel a serum that's just what they're great at they also do lots of different things so do keep that in mind and I'll have links to all these ingredients that I mentioned down in my description box so you can actually click on the link and read so much more about the ingredient itself so you can learn what else it does what other purpose it serves and just everything you need to know about the ingredient itself first I want to talk about my number one favorite ingredient to use to gel a serum and it's actually the only ingredient I've ever used to gel a serum and that is hyaluronic acid. First off, let's talk about what hyaluronic acid is because if you don't know, well, you're missing out because it is a great ingredient. So let me read to you what it is. Hyaluronic acid is a natural gel between our skin cells that serves as a water reservoir for the cells. As we age, our skin loses hyaluronic acid and the ability to hold sufficient water in this reservoir. So when we feed our skin hyaluronic acid, it can help hydrate our skin's intercellular reservoir, raising skin's moisture level, and smoothing down age lines. So as you can see, this is a great ingredient. It helps hydrate and it will help plump up your skin to sort of help diminish the look of those fine lines. It's not going to eliminate wrinkles at all. It's just going to pump up the skin to temporarily relieve those looks of fine lines. A really important thing to keep in mind is when you're looking for a gelled texture for a serum, you have to use the hyaluronic acid that is 1.0-1.5 5 million Daltons. And this is the only type of hyaluronic acid I've ever worked with. You can probably use a hyaluronic acid with a lower amount of Daltons, but you'll probably have to use more of it to get a thicker gelled texture. The 1.0-1.5 million Daltons hyaluronic acid just gives you that perfect texture for a serum and that's why I purchased it. But I can't really give you guys like an exact estimate of how much you should use if you use any other hyaluronic acid. There are so many different hyaluronic acids out there. There are 80,000-110,000 Daltons hyaluronic acid. There is 0.8-1.0 million Daltons hyaluronic acid. So there's so many different kinds. But if you use one with a lower amount of Daltons, you have to increase the percentage to get a more thicker gel texture. But if you aren't really worried about a thicker texture, then go ahead and use a hyaluronic acid with a smaller amount of Daltons. Or like I said, just use it at a higher percentage. So in order to use hyaluronic acid in a serum, all you need to do is sprinkle 1% of it on top of your water formulation. And again, this is the hyaluronic acid that is 1.0-1.5 million Daltons. This one works at only 1% and it'll get you this nice perfect gel texture. So you want to sprinkle 1% of it over top of your water base and immediately take like a popsicle stick and mix it in. And you'll immediately notice that it like chunks up in the water and it's like really hard to mix up. So what I do is I sit there for like a solid five to 10 minutes just mixing it up and breaking up all those chunks as much as I possibly can. And you really want to do this and take this time to mix it up as much as you possibly can. And then after about five to 10 minutes, I will cover it up and let it sit for three hours. After three hours, come back and give it a good mix again. You'll notice that it has dissolved a lot in the water. There may still be some like gel chunks throughout the water. Just try to break those up as much as you can. Maybe let it sit for another hour and come back and it should be this perfect gelled texture. So I did read a, another method of using hyaluronic acid. I personally don't like it. It didn't really work very well for me, but I read that you can just sprinkle the hyaluronic acid in the water and then mix it with like an immersion blender. But when I tried it, it kind of like poofed up like a lot and it took a good couple days to poof back down. So I'd rather just sit there and patiently mix it for like 10 minutes, wait three hours, come back and like maybe wait another hour after that 
rather than waiting a couple days for it to poof down. So the next ingredient that can create a nice gel texture for your serums is Sepamax Zen. So Sepamax Zen is a pre-neutralized polymer that can create a transparent gel on its own, or it can work as a thickener and stabilizer in emulsions and surfactant systems. Sepamax Zen produces products with an elegant skin feel and velvety touch. So I've never actually used Sepamax Zen, but it sounds like an amazing ingredient and I'd love to try it out sometime. I've just never had any use for it or really like the budget to like buy some and experiment with it. Um, but in the future I would love to because it sounds like it makes an amazing gel texture and you can even use it in face washes to gel up a face wash as well. So the reason why I know about Sepamax Zen and that it works so well in serums is because of the blog called Swift Crafty Monkey by Susan. So if you didn't know, this blog called Swift Crafty Monkey is all about how to formulate homemade skincare products and I basically have learned everything like I know about making skincare products from that blog and that is how I know about Sepamax Zen. So I'll put a link down in my description box to that blog if you want to go check it out. It's ran by a woman named Susan and she she is so brilliant so go check it out. You do have to pay for a membership to read the blog but it's totally worth it. And like I said this is how I learned about Sepamax Zen and this is what she uses to gel up her serums and she recommends using it at about 3% for your serum formulations. I'll also put a direct link to a basic serum recipe that she's done on her blog so you can see how Sepamax Zen is incorporated into a serum that she has made. So how she recommends to use Sepamax Zen is to just sprinkle it on top of your water formulation, wait eight hours, and do not mix during this eight hour period. And after eight hours, your water will be gelled. So it sounds pretty easy to use. Like I said, I've never used it before, but it sounds like an amazing ingredient. And if that's what she uses to gel her serums, it's probably a great ingredient. So if you're not a fan of hyaluronic acid for any reason, try Sepamax Zen. It sounds awesome. And like I said, you can even gel face washes with it. So the last ingredient I recommend to use as a gelling agent for serums is called Silagel. So Silagel acts as a gelling agent, a co-emulsifier, a stabilizer, and a suspending agent. It is preservative free and eco-friendly. It provides an amazing silicone-like feel on the skin, and it says it works as a gelling agent at 0.5 to 2%, but I find better results using it more towards 2%. You can probably use it at 1% too. It might be a little bit runny, but I think anywhere between 1% to 2% is a good place to, good place to be. But obviously, try out different percentages to see what you like. So to use Sil Gel, you want to sprinkle it on top of your water formulation, and then you want to use an immersion blender or one of those micro mini mixers and mix it for for a couple minutes. It seems like the more you mix it, the thicker it gets. Also, what I kind of find annoying when it comes to working with Silagel is after you mix it, it like poofs up. Like it's almost like it has a lather to it or something, even though it doesn't, but it like lathers up like soap and you gotta let it sit for like 24 hours or so to foam back down. So that's why it's kind of annoying to work with, but you can mix it by hand if you want, but it won't be quite as thick as it would be mixing it with an immersion blender. So if you're using it at two 2%. You can mix it by hand and probably get a good thickness, but using it at about 1% to like 1.5%, you probably want to mix it with an immersion blender to get a thicker texture. Just do some experimenting and see what works for you. You always got to experiment with ingredients and get your own take on it. Like I said, my number one ingredient out of these three is definitely hyaluronic acid. You get so many benefits from it and it gels your product. So that's why I absolutely love it. If you have any recommendations for ingredients that you use to gel up a product, Product, specifically a serum let me know down in the comments below so in my next video I'll be showing you guys how to make a very basic simple serum using hyaluronic acid I have done a lot of serum videos in the past already so I will link down in my description box to all of my water-based serums I've already done and all of them are using hyaluronic acid so my next video isn't gonna be anything new or different really kind of I mean it will be a little different but I'll just link down below to some of my serum videos I've done in the past so you guys can go check those out in the meantime but yeah now that we have came to the end of this video, it is time for my Patreon shoutouts. So if you didn't know, I do have a Patreon, and over there you can sign up for the shoutout tier. And in that shoutout tier, you will get a shoutout at the end of each of my videos and a link to whatever website you want in my description box. You also get early access to videos, and you get access to my blog, because with each video that is skincare related, I write a blog that goes right along with it. The first one is Herbalist Tracy, who owns Essence of Nature over on Etsy, and I have done a review over her products in the past. I will put down in my description box a link to her Etsy shop and a link to the video of me reviewing her products. The next person
person is Musical Mood Ring, who owns Stardust Bath and Body. As of right now, her website's not live. She said it'll be live sometime in March, but in the meantime, you can hop on over to her website that I have linked down below and type in your email. That way you get notified when it goes live. You can also go follow her on Instagram and keep up with her over there. So my next shout out goes out to Let's Blend, who sells body butters, soaps, and lip balms. You can go check them out at letsblend.bigcartel.com and you can go follow them over on Instagram at Let's Blend. Next up is Nature's Farm Girl, who owns naturesfarmgirl.com. She sells all kinds of natural skincare products and bath products, so hop on over there, check her website out. I'm sure you'll find something you love. And last but not least is Kennedy's Essentials. You can hop on over to kennedysessentials.net. They sell all kinds of different hair care products, so if you're looking for some natural hair care products, then you found the perfect place. So go check that out. I will have the link to Kennedy's Essentials down in the description box as well, along with everybody else I mentioned. So one more thing, as I mentioned in every single one of my videos, is I do sell homemade skincare products. If you didn't know, you probably do know, because I say it all the time. But if you enjoy my videos and my formulations, you'll probably love my products as well. So I'll put a link down in my description box and a link up here so it's easy for you guys to find. So I do hope you guys have a great week and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. I'm stuck in the motions. I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm thrown. I'm shattered in this life. It's still the path that I've chosen. Because I've had a vision. Now I'm on a mission to find myself.